Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am the Tesla Prince and today we have a quick uh, video talking about a tool that I created to help with those who need to deal with the flash player uh, being disabled. And it's today's uh, January the 6th, it's a Wednesday. Next week on the 12th, on a Tuesday, is when everything will start to fail. So, uh, for lack of a better way, um, I've decided to write a little tool here that will set my date. I'll just show you what it looks like. It'll change to January the 12th and just keep doing that. I tried doing this manually in Windows and yes, I turned off internet time sync and for whatever reason it keeps resetting my date back to the proper one. Anyways, so to start off with, I'm going to run this little utility and all it does is it changes my date to January the 12th, 2021. You can see here, if I try to download the Flash Player, by the way, uh, you can no longer download it from Adobe's website. They just push you to another page that says, you know, Flash is end of life. Um, anyways, so that's just a side note. I've created this little tool, flash.vsoft.solutions, and then there's this PHP page. And it goes and it talks about the enterprise enablement feature, talks about the Flash Administrator Guide, um, and essentially this video is going to show you how to use this tool to uh, whitelist your Adobe Flash Player so it allows loading a website. Now, I have links here for Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer talking about those browsers and how those the companies that manage those browsers, they will be removing support for Flash. So you'll probably want to make sure that you turn off any automatic update features in those browsers. Also, Microsoft, in a Windows update, if you look at this link, third link here, they will be removing the Flash player using Windows Update. So you should take a look at that as well but that's out of the scope of this video. Anyways, the tool itself. So what you do, and by the way, if you need a copy of the Flash Player, I have a link here. You can download the Flash Debug Player, which is still on Adobe's website. Anyways, let's say that I want to load this content and it's probably gonna be blocked now, yeah, because the date is January the 12th. And this is what you'll see when it's blocked. So this website has, you know, this full web address and I'm only going to copy the main part between these first slashes which is flash.vsoft.solutions it could be facebook.com microsoft.com the main part of the web address that you want flash content to work and you're going to go to the host name field on this page we're going to paste it in there flash.vsoft.solutions and just before I click generate and by the way point out a few things here. You want to visit this page from the browser that you would like the Flash content to work in. So this is Internet Explorer. So let's pretend I want Internet Explorer to load Flash content from this website. And I'm, I'm doing this from Windows. So once I visit this page, the page is intelligent enough to say you're running Windows 64-bit and you're using Internet Explorer. And so it says put the host name in here and when I click generate config file it's going to give me a file to download called mms.config and it wants me to save it into this folder okay so I already have that folder open here and that file does not exist so what's going to happen is I'm just going to copy this I'm going to click generate config and down here it says yes would you like to download I'm gonna say save as and I'm not sure if Windows is gonna block me from saving it to that location because I don't have administrator access let's just give this a try if I go here and I click save you don't have permission okay so save the file somewhere but you're going to have to copy it to this location and I'll, we'll do that right now so it's going to save it to the mark folder fine let's save it there 
Okay, and then I'm going to open that folder. Here's the file. Now, here's the other directory. So what you can do is you can copy the first part of this recommended folder without the file name, open a new window, paste it in there, and it's going to go to the correct directory. Now I'm going to copy the file from wherever I downloaded it to up to here. Okay, let's not drag and drop because this machine is slow that I'm doing this test on. So I paste it there. See, you need admin access. I'll click continue. It lets me do it through the uh, Windows folders. So now that the file is there, let's see if I can just refresh this. Yeah, I think I have to close all the browsers and reopen. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to open, close all instances of the browser, open a new one, and now it should be able to load that flash content. And here we go. So that's Internet Explorer. And all these same steps are the same steps for Firefox. So it'll tell you the same directory to put it in. It, it's all the same from Firefox. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show this from Google Chrome. And Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge Chromium, almost the same, but the, the place you, you put it is slightly different. So let's just go through this because it is slightly different for Chrome. All right, so let's first if you just go to flash.vsoft.solutions and then click on I'll open this in another tab for the test click on the PHP page that's the generator and you'll notice this time it says that it wants to save the file to a different area. Now, it also says if the directory path doesn't exist, you have to create it. So if I go look over here, you'll notice I'm in the Shockwave Flash folder, which is right here. There's no system folder, so I'm going to have to create that because by default it's not there. Okay, so now I've created that. So I should be able to, well first let's just make sure that this is blocked because my batch file is changing the date to January the 12th, it's blocked. So I'm going to take the first part of the web address, copy that, I'm going to paste it into hostname. Uh, okay, I copied everything for whatever reason. All right, flash.vsoft.solutions, generate, and it's, for whatever reason, it wants to download to my downloads folder, which is right here. Is it here? Let's see. Right there. And now I'm going to copy that configuration file to this location here. There it is. And now, I don't know if I have to close the browser and reload. Let's see. Oh, and there we go. It works. And essentially, this will be the same thing for um, Chromium. The only difference is the location It'll, instead of like Google, it'll say Microsoft. Instead of Chrome, it'll say Edge. But I'll just show you that real quick. For completion. Really sorry about the slowness of this virtual machine. All right, so let's visit that generator page. And if we look here, it shows it go to Microsoft Edge. Save the file there. And that should work just fine. All right, so that's really all there is to this video. Um, do not ignore 
the contents here in these links. If you're using these browsers, you will want to turn off any automatic updates in the browser and you will want to watch for that Windows update that's going to come by. We don't know the exact date yet. It's already available as an optional install, but eventually it will automatically remove the Flash Player. Anyways, I uh, hope that video helps. Uh, this generation tool creates the configuration file for you. The main thing you need to do is use the browser that you want to support. Visit this page. Um, and I'll put the link in the description of the video. And then put in the name of the website, the main part of the website, like facebook.com. Um, and then click generate configuration file. Save it somewhere and then move it to this location where it says recommended and close all instances of the browser and it should work. Anyways, hope that helped.